guys, you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna take something everybody probably has around you can get very easily, some artificial garland. And we're gonna make it look a little more primitive. You can do your own little wreaths, trees. You know, you could probably come up with a hundred other ideas after you see me do this. So let's get started. So what we are starting with is a piece of artificial garland. You can get almost anywhere. And it's big and fluffy like this. Here's a piece that's bigger and fluffier, and this is a piece that we did up, and it looks a little more primitive and flat, but I really like this. And this is how we are gonna make our wreaths and our trees. So I'm opening my garland up so you can see the two edges. One comes out this way, this comes this way. So I will be cutting these so they become one piece. And I'm using wire cutters, and I'll cut several of these because we're gonna do a tree. Cut a bunch of these. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use for this one. It really depends on how big or small you want your tree. And of course, you can just alter this if you're doing just a tiny one and just use a little bit, or just cut a whole lot more if you're doing a larger one. You will start with this. And then you're gonna need some sort of a stick or a base. I had this little base. I'm gonna end up painting it, and I just have a hole drilled through it. And I found a piece of stick branches that are going to fit in there. So I'm taking my first piece. Your stick is way too uh, fragile, you could bust it, so you gotta be careful. And all I'm doing is wrapping this piece around. I'm gonna get my next piece. It's kind of nice, because you don't have to glue it. It pretty much stays with, because there's wire in your garland, so that when you wrap it, it's just gonna stay formed and you're gonna decide how, how tall or how short or how far you want it to go down. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make it thicker down here. So I'm going part way down and I'm going to wrap. Just wrap another layer. I'm going down further, just wrapping another layer. And I'll need to cut a few more pieces because I'm going to want the bottom of this to be fuller. And start about three-fourths down or two-thirds down and make this part thicker. And at this bottom edge, it's really thick, so I just cut a big branch off. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this. A couple of these ends at the end, I'm just twisting together to hold them in so place. So I have my heat gun, and you want to probably do this in a well-ventilated area. Now, if I wanted it thicker, I could continue to add more on here and it would get fuller and fuller. And you can play with this to get the look you like. So you could uh, paint your base, you could add um, glitter to this, use a spray adhesive and add some mica glitter, add little LED lights. But it's fun and you could do tiny ones or you could do big ones. But this is just another fun idea to use what you've got. Okay, so now that we've done our tree, I'm gonna show you how to make this very simple little wreath that you could put on almost anything. And you could add several of these together if you wanted a larger one. Just take the two ends. And they're just touching. And I really like this look. When you first heat it up, it's gonna be very soft. You just give it just a few seconds and then it gets, the fibers get stiff again. So here is another piece we did. I literally just cut a piece of the garland and opened it up and heated it up so it flattened. Did some spray adhesive and mica and put it in this cute little pocket. 
but you could do other pockets with wreaths, fill them full of drives and cinnamon sticks. Another idea would be if you wanted to do fun little banners with names on it for name place settings. Maybe a tiny little red bell or a rusted bell with someone's name, put it on their place setting. And even with the trees, big, small, put them in little jars. But this is just a fun way to get a different look with what you already have. Hope you guys try this out. It was really fun and simple. Don't forget, make sure there's some ventilation. But have fun.